Hello guys and welcome to App Screencast, Danny here. So it's that time again for the Final Cut Pro 10 weekly tip. So in today's tip I wanted to talk a little bit about background rendering and give you a few tips on it. So background rendering is quite a cool thing in Final Cut Pro 10 and basically as you're creating your video, you're adding your effects, you're adding your transitions and titles and so on, Final Cut Pro 10 will render that video in the background. And the good thing about this is when it comes to exporting the video, um, Final Cut Pro 10 has already done the rendering or most of the rendering, so it should be able to export a lot faster. So if you're working to a deadline or just really want to get your video finished quickly, um, having background rendering switched on is really good. But kind of a negative towards background rendering is it does use some of your resources up, your, your processor, your memory and so on. And when you've got all this going on in the background, it can kind of slow, slow up your machine or slow up Final Cut Pro 10, especially if you are using um, an older Mac or even a lower spec Mac. So one of the things you can do to help speed your Mac up or speed up um, Final Cut Pro 10, so you're not getting that beach ball or just finding that the program's being slow or even freezing up, you can actually turn off background rendering. So to turn off background rendering, it's quite easy. Just go up to the preferences, go to playback, and just make sure you've got background rendering turned off. By default, it's switched on. Uh, so just switch that off, like so. So as you can see there, background rendering is turned off now. And along the top of the timeline, you can actually see this orange line. And this basically means all the footage below this still needs rendering. So obviously we haven't rendered yet, so this whole clip basically needs rendering. Up at the top you can see here the actual background task are at 100%, meaning there's no rendering taking place in the background or anything like that. If we click here you can see everything's idle just by clicking on the percentage. So now if you're wondering, can you actually view your effects, your transitions and so on, you actually can even when the clips are not rendered. So if we just grab this aged paper effect and drag it into this clip here, you can see you can preview it here and we can even play play through it and we can see all our effects as you can see there now this is just an image so there's not much happening there but you can still view all your effects all the transitions fine it's just you need to obviously render the clip when it comes to exporting so at any point you need to render you can always do it and it's really simple to do uh, this can be either rendering the whole timeline or just rendering a certain clip so if you want you can just render parts of your project so for example we'll select this clip here Go up to modify and you can go up to render selection. As you can see there, now we've got a task running, which as you can see is rendering. So we just leave that to render. As you can see here, this orange line is now disappearing at this section here to say that this section has been rendered. As you can see, we're at 96%, 97. Give it a few more seconds and we're at 100%. So this whole clip now has been rendered. These other two parts here, what are still orange, still need rendering. Now if you want to render the whole project, you can go up to modify and go render all and it will start rendering the whole project. So really it's down to personal choice if your background rendering turned on or off. If you're running a slower machine, an older machine or just a low spec machine, then I definitely think turning off background rendering can definitely help improve the general performance of your computer and Final Cut Pro 10. But if you are someone who's even got a powerful machine, if you are running a lot of applications in the background or at the same time as Final Cut Pro 10, then maybe you'll find turning off background rendering will help um, improve performance for you as well. I know for me personally, if I'm using my iMac, um, I, don't, I do have background rendering on and I don't find it to be much of a problem. Uh, Final Cut Pro 10 runs pretty smooth. But on my 2009 MacBook, with it being a much older machine, and uh, obviously an uh, underpowered machine as it were, it really struggles to run Final Cut Pro 10 smoothly. Um, so I find turning off background rendering on that machine definitely does help prove, improve performance. So for me personally, uh, turning off background rendering is definitely very useful in that scenario. So hopefully you found this video helpful and I'll see you in the next one. Goodbye.